Hey, what is up everybody? It's Timo here. So there is one strategy in particular that I haven't really covered up too much and that is my friend how to make gold in a very specific way that will require this item. This item is the pickaxe. Pretty much I've mentioned how you could make gold, how you could follow my routine on how to, you know, make gold. And pretty much what you could have done but there is one um strat that is extremely slept on and um ideally ideally you want to play on a rope and follow this strat but if you still plan a barb like myself this strat will work for you just fine so pretty much this is the joy handers that I acquired in the market for 200 gold and let's actually check if it's actually costed additional weapon physical damage and power the cheapest one is 280. I was able to buy it slightly cheaper. And basically, also, you're looking for the initial number to be 52. Um, so, pretty much, we're gonna take the Zhuai with us. We're gonna take the pickaxe. And let's simplify it a little bit and let's just use this, the um, Mr. Squire gear. Like, we don't wanna overcomplicate stuff. We're just gonna throw whatever. Let's take the um, place. Wait, wait. Do I have common items? Let me see. I have adventure boots. Pretty good. I have salad. Pretty good. Um, this could be handy, maybe. Maybe not. All right. So what about the rest? What about the rest? Um, I'm looking for gloves of utility. For this matter, it could be quite helpful. I want to drag this out. I'm not. I'm not planning to really use. What the hell is that? Oh, here we go. I'm not really planning to use the campfire. Um, so I might as well use the potion of protection. Could be handy. Ideally, ideally, if you have items that will give you agility, it's going to increase your regular interaction speed. And if something's going to increase your regular interaction speed, you pretty much will be able to acquire cheese faster. Wow, bro. This is going to be such a... Listen, let me go on the market and find some turn shoes. I believe they're like 50 gold, even an epic quality, they cost nothing. 75 gold turned shoes, bet. What about the rare quality with regular interaction speed? That's exactly what I'm kind of looking for as of right now. Okay, maybe throw a little bit of... Oops, my bad. Throw a little bit of additional move speed. 415? Hell no. Nope, 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 nope. Not doing it, nope. Right, so the very first one offers just about that 41 gold is probably something that you will be able to afford ah okay pretty much what you aim for is to increase your regular interaction speed whatever you throw like just um, keep an eye out on this attribute more agility you have the better is it going to be for you you can actually throw a bunch of rings with regular interaction which is going to be quite helpful the gloves of utility also cost extremely cheap if you're in the process of making gold, if you want to like save up a lot of money to be able to afford giga cheese, look for gloves of utility. They always cost almost nothing. And basically, you can look for the rare with resourcefulness. And basically, the 14% plus 2 resourcefulness combined together going to give you a lot and a lot of regular interaction speed. So, which I, I'm going to showcase right here. 21% regular interaction speed is barely fucking a difference, so... But still, if you stockpile enough of those, you will be able to um, acquire enough at the end of the day. Also, also, you could use the Elf, which are also gonna increase regular interaction speed, because agility is what impacts the stat. Regular interaction speed comes in handy, especially when you're farming bosses, when you're farming ore, when you're farming doors <laughs> well i mean it's gonna help you out with open doors faster as well as chess and uh, you know a bunch of other stuff so yeah i don't want to overcomplicate stuff but maybe one thing that um i want to kind of get and that is nah i don't want to get nothing we're gonna go as is just like with this gear set that we currently have but yeah this gear is just it's not even a question that this gear set costs nothing straight up zero um okay so we're gonna get a crush and we're gonna get savage because we don't have a chess piece on and pretty much this is the combination of cheese we're gonna run in today's video bye
potions of healing. This is gonna be a very worse investment. No matter how you look at it, pods are important. Buy them. Little bandages, probably too much. No, it's fine. This is fine. And um, when it comes to fighting players, you would have probably have to defend yourself. So get one green potion. Even one green potion will buff your stats to the point where you'll just get too much cheese from one pot. And also it will put some mental pressure, even if you use a gray one, which uh, comes free, basically. So yeah, use fucking blue pots. They're gonna help you a lot. Alright, so I have Potion Chugger, I have Savage, I have Crush, I have Robust, I have Rage, and I have Savage Roar. This is exactly what you're gonna do. Honestly, honestly, I might think as well to go in the solo versus duo in the Goblin Caves. Probably it could be not the best idea, but as a showcase of where you gotta go and what you need to do, it's probably gonna work out just fine. Savage Roar, I honestly not a, as much of a fan as this perk as I used to be. It used to be good, it's not anymore. 30% and 40% just makes too much of a difference. So as of right now, I would prefer Achilles Strike. It just actually comes handy. Not only it's gonna do a little bit of damage, but it's also gonna slow burst down for two and a half second. And two and a half second will let you either land a free hit or it will let you reposition. Um use another pod, get back, or pull in. It's all up to you. Depends on your play style. As for now, let's go in the goblin caves and let's try to get some cheese using the pickaxe. So we're gonna try to get as much gold and then once we're done with mining ore i'm gonna show you one little trick which you're gonna give you a 20 percent chance to get up to five thousand gold anyway let's go in the goblin caves and let's see how far we're gonna get with it all right sir my bad i was scrolling through the youtube all right so well you can open up chests you can farm centipedes they definitely not gonna hurt you but this is not exactly what we're planning to do in today's video. We're gonna try and utilize the pickaxe best of our abilities. Just to be able to acquire the free cheese. Regular interaction speed would be handy. I got fucking speed on, bro. We're gonna try to cheese out as much gold as possible. But mainly, mainly, we're not gonna bother too much with mobs. Oh hell, that would be nice. We also got a ring. The reason why I would go and kill actually centipede mainly due to the fact that you're gonna get a free ring well, most of the time, most of the time. And the quality could vary, it could go blue. Oh, gloves of utility, even though the ones that we have are better. I don't wanna deal with mobs. You can try and collect the ward with it, actually could be quite useful. Little tech how to break doors just by rotating the orb. Oops. Just walk close to it and start to the middle and rotate. Oh man. Sorry guys, I was a little busy, my bad, my bad. We're gonna sorry guys, that was um a little unintentional. It was not planned, really. It was not really planned. We're not gonna loot them because, I mean, if they have something, that would be a little unfair. Because the main goal for today's video is to farm cheese. Not players, not players. Sorry, my bad. This is the stuff that will get you gold. Cobalt is one part of it. Man. Bro, they're not letting me play, brother. What the heck is this? Right, I need to take some of their meds. Unbelievable. By the way, those boots are pretty good. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, 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 guys. It was uh, unintentional little interruption. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Trust me, I didn't mean it. Right, so you want to farm this and make sure you deal with the mob because it's gonna be annoying little shit in your way. So this is what we're gonna do. 
What the hell did I just hear? I know, I just may have heard something wrong. Something up. Alright, so this is what you could do. You could jump on this fire. Or just be very close and then you start mining. Or, basically, this is a really, really useful way. Like, an efficient way to make gold. Because the time that you're going to consume to get ore, I mean, to farm some ore, is um, going to be the least amount of time considered the amount of effort you put in. So pretty much you're going to get at least five pieces of the cobalt ore, and this five piece of cobalt ore is going to be 150 plus gold just like that. Then you can craft some cheese with it. Uh, that's actually what I also like to double down from time to time, and I just like to go and uh, instead of selling but I like to craft and sometimes if you get a really good roll those pieces could go really freaking expensive so basically that's kind of it you know what I mean got four pieces um this is pretty good this is definitely not bad looks like we have another team here Alright, let's mine the cobalt ore. Usually, usually you don't want to focus too much on mining the cobalt ore if you don't have a lot of regular interaction speed. Ideally, ideally, you always go for the copper, and then after that I'm gonna showcase you exactly what you want to do to get a high chance to get a very good and expensive piece right after. But first thing first, we're gonna follow our steps. Usually, you want to rotate your head at 180 degree, well, maybe 90 degrees, fine. Um, so you'll be able to actually see what's up and um, nobody will ambush you. And you don't want to get ambushed when you're mining copper. Don't just stand and look at the copper or like the cobalt or whatever the fuck that is. Make sure you twist your head and make sure you are stay cautious. Being cautious is very important, especially if you want to make decent amount of cheese. Alright, we already have three. This is actually kind of free money just right here, straight up. By the way, this piece right here offers quite a good amount of stars, I'm gonna be honest. And it doesn't slow me as much. Four Wigger, and wow, that's actually really freaking good. That is actually very good stars, by the way. Not even trolling, not even trolling. Alright, so there's gonna be some copper here. I mean, cobalt right here. There's gonna be some cobalt here. There's gonna be more cobalt on the floor below. But most importantly, most importantly, I was just trying to showcase how much we would be able to get. No. Well, I mean... I was trying to make sure that um, everything is right there and I didn't really want to, you know, bother them too much. Just, uh, you know, safety check, little safety check. We're gonna come across the cobalt ore. Let's mine this as well. Consider how much... Oh, by the way, I see another piece right here, like, literally. The amount of cobalt you could get from the middle room is absolutely ridiculous. Like, if you want to, like, utilize on a very simple and easy money-making method, you should do this. It's gonna give you free cobalt. 10 cobalt just like that. It's already really freaking good. I'm gonna open this door up because I don't want this guy... Um, I don't want anyone to think that this is where I went. Especially if anyone is gonna be on my toes. And people do like to get on my toes. <laughs> um... It's actually very convenient to kill mobs on the um, Barbarian. It's like one of the best PvE classes in my opinion. It's just like, you know, the whole process of killing mobs on a barb is just so freaking relaxing. It's just like you just swing your big, massive, beautiful sword and basically, you know, you just repeat the process until the mob is dead. It's like something about the Jwarehander make this weapon so freaking satisfying, it's absolutely ridiculous. And also, you can do this little trick, you can try and stack pile as many mobs. We have a lot of iron here, like, I'm kind of surprised where is the fucking copper, copper ore is. Usually, usually, you would go here for copper, but also there is supposed to be two chests that you can unlock. Oh, we have one piece of copper, and one piece of copper is gonna be a ready good chunk of free money. This is exactly what you're aiming here for. If you have, um... Basically, basically, you can also try and get the um, 
um, iron ore, but um, still, like, it's not the most time efficient, but you can craft lockpicks, and basically by crafting lockpicks you could maximize the amount of profit you're gonna be getting. Let's quickly check what we have here in this chest, but we don't have a lockpick, so we're gonna fucking suck dick. And basically, as for now, we're just gonna try and get some copper. Once again, a little very simple strat. Twist your head 90 degrees, make sure you don't get ambushed. For the most part, um, you'll be able to spot people faster. And basically, you know, before they even recognize that you're mining ore. That's kind of kind of sums it all up. We also have five more minutes, which is actually quite a lot. Five copper ore pieces is gonna be plentiful for our little advantage. We got a little cobalt, we got a little copper. If you keep doing this from game to game, you just you realize how much money you're gonna make in such a short period of time. All right. Okay, so pretty much once you're done mining copper, um, and if you still have like around five minutes left, there's just gonna be more than enough time to go directly. If you have rage, use rage. If you have invis, use invis. That's gonna increase your speed by a good bit. The faster you're gonna get to the style, the better. We're gonna break door here. The tech that I like to do is by jumping and um, sheathing and unsheathing weapon. It's actually really freaking handy. Looks like someone was having a fight here. We have four minutes, and four minutes is usually more than enough. Okay, we're gonna go down here to the trolls room. And we're gonna check if we're gonna be lucky enough. See you. Alright. With this why you will be able to headshot all the time, which is really fucking convenient. Even if you don't have dexterity, Zhuai is a really good weapon. That's why it's like I prefer using Zhuai, um for the most part. But just quite recently I've been trying to practice playing with the Felon Axe, but for the most, you want to play with the Zhuai. It's just such a good weapon. Like, it's just so easy, you just land headshots after headshots. It doesn't matter what attack it is. Just gonna be a convenient headshot after headshots. And you just repeat the process. Okay, we get close, we land a headshot. We walk to the side, we land a headshot. We do a little jump, we land a headshot. We do another little jump, we land a headshot. Maybe that was the thorax, so probably that was counted as a body shot. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell. Okay, another headshot. And probably, I'm not sure 100% if it was a headshot, but it probably was. If you're not fast enough, it's gonna be a little harder, but uh, overall, like, it's actually super easy. I'm gonna get close. He's gonna do roar. And it took us literally one minute. One minute of headshotting the boss. Oh, and we got a little troll pelt. Very nice. Okay, and um, what else did we have? We got a forest boots. I honestly never seen those. Let's throw this and let's take this instead. We have 2 minutes 40. Usually you don't need more than a minute to get out of the uh, trolls room. So we actually have a plenty of time. 2 minutes 40 is more than enough to go and check what you can find inside the marvelous chest. But usually you don't want to leave later than 2 minutes. Okay, Raper is actually a good amount of money just like that. We're gonna take that. We also got this little cheese, which is also gonna be very useful. And we got a quarter stove. I think we're kind of good on everything here. Maybe I'll take a little bit of gold. And um, we still have too much time to leave, so we're not really in rush. Basically, this is what you want to do if you want to get to extract really fast. Go to the left, go to the left again. 
walk up all the way, turn your left again, here you're gonna have elevator. Depends on your preference, you could go to the extract at the west, or you could go to the extract at the north, or you could also go to extract at the south. It's all up to you, but I wouldn't go, I wouldn't recommend going to the south, because that, 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 that kind of suck. Looks like everything here is opened up, so I'm almost 99% positive that this area was cleared out, and um, whoever was here, they took both static here, the, the rope here. Nope, the rope isn't taken. But um, I want to showcase you how you can get out anyway, and basically this is what you can do. We have another extract right here, which you could take, and we have an another extract right here, which is super, super close from this place. One minute is usually more than enough, so you can actually just go and do this. And we have three stat portals right here in the water, which I'm going to showcase you from this little hole. If you go to the right side, this is where you can find this. So, and we have one more extract, which is going to be a right here. So pretty much, even if all those extracts are taken, you still will be able to find at least one of them, which is going to make your life quite easy. Anyway. Let's get out and let's try to see how much gold we made in today's video. Exit to the lobby. Into the lobby we go, brother. Into the lobby we go. Alright, so we got 10 cobalt. Let's check the cobalt ore. Cobalt ore. I think it's gonna be a solid... Okay, so 100 gold. So that's 200 gold from cobalt, which uh, you can find up to um, 30 in the mid-map. Especially if you're rogue, you can do so much, you can get so much cobalt, that could be easily 600 gold, um, just like that, you know, from the mid-map. And let's check the copper. The copper ore is gonna be 268, you can get up to 18 in normals. And if you'll get 18, you can do the mass, it would be almost like um, 800 gold, which is fucking a lot. And, well, let's check the troll pelt. The troll pelt change to get, chance to get is 20%. So there is 20% chance you're gonna get the troll pelt. But also there is a chance to get a mystical gem. And mystical gem gonna cost this much. Mystical gem gonna cost this much. Mystical, on the other hand, is quite rare. And I only was able to find a couple. I also sold a couple so that I would be able to afford the bags. The bags for me personally are a lot more preferable I would say and I don't get the mystical gems as often as um, you would usually do normally normally if you want to actually try and get the mystical gem you got to go with luck luck will impact the mystical gem drop but uh, also luck I believe probably probably could impact the troll pelts as well so yeah that's actually will be ha handy what luck does in this game it's actually luck decrease the chances of getting lower tier um great items or, or like you know just yeah items pretty much could be any gear it could be uh, you know any um, usable items like etc so pretty much yeah i just want to make a quickly barbarian guide on how you can make a decent chunk of gold um playing the barb with a decent budget or not decent or just with any gear but one thing that you should never sleep on is the joy hander and you should always aim for a decently good Y with additional weapon damage because this one was extremely freaking cheap and on market right now is, I believe, not gonna go for too much either. The cheapest one is at 80 gold and I'm surprised. You could see the find one at literally fucking bottom. Look at this bitch. 52 plus 2 plus 4. Wow. Only 100 gold. For a purple Y hander, you can't complain. Basically, in this video, we made 50 purple Y handers, you know what I mean. Anyway, it's Demo. I hope you enjoyed this little guide on how to make a lot of gold playing on normal goblin caves. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the dungeon.